Another storm, another power mm. outage. Thank you for joining us here for Action News 5 at 5 o'clock. I'm Joe Birch. I'm Kim Clark in for Joy tonight. Right now, hundreds of MLGW customers still without power in searing hot temperatures. And tonight, the mayor of Memphis promising the utility company's plan to fix the county's fragile infrastructure will work, but it'll take some time. Indeed. Action News 5's Kelly Cook has been working this story all day long. Kelly, share what you've learned. Well, Joe and Kim, as you mentioned, it's still hundreds of people are without power. Many were without power after yesterday's uh, short thunderstorm, but that's still a far cry from the thousands who are sitting in the dark just over a week ago. But still, having to deal with power outages, what feels like minimal storms can be very frustrating. A familiar sight in Memphis neighborhoods this past week. This time in Westwood, after 18 hours without power, Shantaria Smith was relieved to know relief was finally on the way. Yeah, I am very happy about that. Smith says she was shocked when she got a notification that her power was out following Tuesday's thunderstorm. So I didn't really think nothing of it, you know, because it didn't really do too much outrageous storming and stuff like that. But as I came to the house later that evening because I was planning on just chilling out, I noticed that my power was out. MLGW CEO Doug McGowan has vowed to put into place the $1.2 billion infrastructure plan approved several years ago. McGowan points to COVID as to the reason for the backlog. I do not want people to give up hope that we are going to make our system much more reliable and resilient in the future. Millions will go to replacing old infrastructure and installing a new smart grid. I support the plan, I support the funding, because after five or seven years, we need to put this behind us. The culprit for this street's power outage? A fallen tree limb on a power line. Overgrown vegetation is a major problem. We saw countless examples of tree limbs on power lines, a priority in the infrastructure plan, including cutting back trees near power lines. $220 million has been set aside to make that happen. ASAP, like, if they notice the problem, they should get on it, like, expeditiously, like, for real. Because, like he just told me, it could happen again in the near future or the next storm. You never know. Yeah, she told me she's been in that house for about two months, and she said she's already had about two or three power outages. Now, once the infrastructure plan is fully realized, we're being told that uh, it should reduce power outages by 50%. Kelly Cook, Action News 5.